Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Craft Designs. I'm coming by today to share a technique using these dies from um, Globeland. Now, I had one that still had the die in it and it evidently popped out. So these are just um, sorry about that cardstock, cardstock from Walmart. Um, I think it's 150 pound, 100 pound. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. You can see how easy this is. Just a pick that actually came with. My silhouette, but it's really handy. As you can see, most of the pieces just fall right out. The ones that don't um, just adhere inside the die. Okay, so these are the ones that I've chosen to use from this die right here. They've got kind of a rib cage kind of look to the middle of the heart, and then some leafy vines growing from the heart. It's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to gold leaf these little metal, these little um, chipboard die, cardstock dies. <laughs> and all you're going to need, which might be a all order, but all you're going to need is the adhesive labels that go with your printer okay now every one of these dies has tiny little holes on the back those holes will help you to release the die just put a little pressure in the hole and it will pop that die right and as you can see, every mold has them. I mean, every die has them. Okay, our, this one was my next choice. Uh, okay, so I've got the label. This is the label backing. I have pulled off the two labels and set them aside carefully so as not to uh, stick them with anything but this is what I'm going to this is what I'm going to use this is um, speedball metal leaf I don't know how hard this is to find I've had it for a couple of years okay but it is um, like a rubber cement. It's really liquid in the bottle. But once it um, contacts air, it does become a sticky adhesive. Once it kind of dries. Another thing I want to explain about these die cuts is anytime you cut out anything the, the card stock will have a right side and a wrong side it will have a side where because this is a die it will have a side that 
has <laughs> cut edges. So you want the rounded front side, if at all possible. Okay. Now, I've also got some Q-tips. Because I don't want to uh, waste a paintbrush. I don't, I don't happen to have any disposable paintbrushes right now. I don't know how that happened, but I don't. So, we're going to give this a try. Now, as you will see, it is a white substance, but it will dry clear. So, all you're going to do is not trying to catch every bit. Be careful because your fingers will want to stick to the bottle. Okay, there's one. I'm going to continue on off of camera. Again, be sure your fingers don't stick to the bottle. And I'll be right back. Now, I'm just going to let that dry for a few minutes. It will tack up once it's um, dry. And now I'm going to stick them to the back of the label. Probably just two to a sheet. Okay. It, it's removable, so we're not going to damage them in any way. But that's what I'm going to do, so I'll be right back. Okay. This is the metal leaf I'm going to use, and I'm going to use a combination of probably the gold and the copper. Although, maybe the gold, copper, and silver. So, I'll prepare a little of this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've taken all three and put them in this little condiment container. Any container you have will work. And I've shook it around and mixed it up all that I could. Now, sticking these to the labels will hopefully serve two purposes. One it will help stick the dies down so they're not trying to curl up and whisk away when I'm trying to put the gold leaf on metal leaf on but it'll also contain the flakes themselves by sticking them down. For instance. <laughs> so that way I won't have any crazy flyaways. But. It will stick to me and everything else. Possibly not the best idea, but we're gonna go. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on adding now like I said I don't want to cover the whole surface okay I'll be back 
to show you before I'm ready to peel them off. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to start where the uh, dye is thickest up here at the corner. First, I'm going to furnish that metal leak down a little bit. Alright. Now, I'm going to take it at the corner and just peel it off. It will peel right off. Just be a little careful. You don't want to tear the uh, corner vines or the top edge of the die. Okay. Now, I've got a rougher for lack of a better word, brush, and I'm just going to do a little scrubby job, and get those extra gold leaf flakes. Okay, then I'll take the other one off and do the same thing. Now, <clears throat> I've got my gold leaf corners, my, my metal leaf corners. They're a little curled, but uh, the glue will stick them right down. Here's what I'm going to put them on. Made a little book box. I'm going to put them on the corners. Maybe a little metal leafing on the face. Then I'll get a little book label. Put on the spine. Okay, so be right back with the face and the label. Okay, now a little explanation. I did put the black gold and the silver in a mix. And I put those on the face as well as the book binding, the book label, the book label. <laughs> and then, oh, first let me explain what it did to the book box. <clears throat> it's got um, texture paste that's put through, just happen to have it. This, um, I believe it's called The Art Is. Yes, Art Is. And it's by, I believe, TCW. Alright. Um, I put the... Put the... the TCW won't... <laughs> fluffy texture paste which is my my opinion it's the only one there is <clears throat> let that dry wash the stencil off right away because that stuff stinks and then I couldn't make up my mind the one thing I want to say about orange orange and acrylic paint Orange is a very translucent <clears throat> color. So I couldn't just pick just one. This is the Americana Persimmon. This is the Apple Barrel Pumpkin. This is the Apple Barrel Orange. And I sponged them on randomly. 
let that drop. Then after, <laughs> as if that wasn't enough, I did spray a little bit with the Lindy Stamp Gang, and this is the uh, Moon Shadow Mist, or whatever it's called. This one is the, yeah, uh-huh, Hog Hagwarts Orange. And this one is the, oh god, I'll never be able to read that. <clears throat> Red Hot Poker Orange. One of them, and I'm not sure which one it is, has kind of a purple cast iridescence, which I absolutely love. Alright. I got the brown out, but I didn't use it. Now, the corners are going to be something like that. But on this, again, I used the black gold and the silver. But I thought it had kind of a... It, it just had a same sameness. I didn't like it. <laughs> so I sprayed it with... Freaky Franken Lime and Ponderosa Pine. Oh, Ponderosa Pine Olive. Mm hmm. I did just a quick spritz of both of those. Then I thought, well, it's just going to be green. So I took a paintbrush and just did just a paintbrush in the um, two orange colors. And I love it. My gosh, I love that purple shimmer it's got with the orange and the... <gasps> it's so Halloween. Alright, so I'm going to glue these down and we're going to be done. So, I... so, it's a giant bottle, but this is the Aline's Tacky Glue. I'm going to use it to glue these um, dies down there may be other glues that might be just as appropriate but this stuff works fantastic and it works fast once you get it to come out and it is a brand new bottle so You don't have to get everywhere, just everywhere that matters. <gasps> okay. Now when I line this up, what I usually do is I line up I line up these ends first and then I'll be sure well, normally I'd be sure everything else was in place but was off just a bit. <laughs> Okay, now I'll just go around and press down all of these little edges. And literally, that's all it takes, and it's glued down. Alright, so I'll glue this other one down, and I'll be right back. Okay, then to glue the face down, because this is resin, and this is kind of weighty all right so I'm gonna use the 3d matte gel the reason I like this stuff even over the 3d gloss gel hey, 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 hey. because this stuff is super sticky I'm telling you I could glue my husband to the bed with this stuff. This stuff is crazy. 
Don't get too much on your fingers because you will stick them together. But because this is resin, it's got a bit of a lip. I did sand it down quite a bit, but it's still there. So I need to just get enough to be able to stick it down. Okay. see if that is even stuck down oh it appears to be so there we have it thank you to Globland for having the faith in me to do this um, review I've so enjoyed it. Now, the pages effect, I just did with the texture paste and um, my, my metal knitting, knitting needle. A toothpick would work just fine. So, there it is. Oh, love it. I love the effect the gold leafing has on these dies. So, so pretty. And I think it was really quite brilliant <laughs> to think of using the label paper, the label sticker. That was, that was a good, that was a good trick. Alright, so thank you so much to Globland. Um, like I've said before, I've got a um, coupon for $5 off once you spend forty dollars um it's lens crafts design five or something like that i'll put it in the link below i mean in the list below um so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe um bye for now